Hey guys, Kate Kennedy here with the Hip Kit Club, and I'm going to bring you, I believe this is my last layout using the November kit, no, the October kits, and then I'm going to move into the November kits. I'm behind. Um, sorry about that. So I'm just cutting a photo mat of this really pretty, I loved that ombre paper, I thought it was so pretty, and I'm going to cut several different layers of of um, pattern paper to put behind my photo and I do have to say that this layout is very Missy is it Whitten? Wheaton? Wheaton? I, I don't want to mispronounce your last name. Missy. She's a fellow design team member um, for the Hip Kit Club and she makes awesome videos but I totally love her style and certain things that she does and I um, I did some of those things on this layout so I have to say that it was inspired by some of her um, process videos because how can you not be her videos are great um she always um like tears her paper i i've i mean I, i've done that before also um but i like the way that it looks with her torn washi which is totally inspired by her and i'll show that later in the video the washi tape actually comes from the december no the november kits but because the november kit is um holiday themed yes and this is the october kit but i am going to use the um, gold washi from the November kits on this layout. So feel free to mix and match your kits, guys. They all work so well together. So what I'm doing here is I've created this little cluster of pattern papers, but then I have all these frames. Like that frame was from a chipboard collection that we got in the previous kit. And then there's a bunch of frames in this um, Pebbles um, ephemera pack. So I just decided to go through and grab a bunch of them and I put You'll see how I do it. I kind of put one side at the top and then cut it in half and put the other side at the bottom, but on top of that, the layer that the other one's underneath. I don't know if that makes sense. It kind of goes every other one. I guess you'll maybe in the pictures you'll be able to see it better, but it just creates a whole bunch of layers without having to use the entire frame. And besides, the frames are too small to see the whole thing. So if you cut them up, you can really get... Um, more use out of them. So that's what I'm doing here. I'm just showing you what it looks like before I go through and glue it all. It took a took a while to glue it all together because of how thin some of those frames were. So I don't I don't think I'm going to show you all that. But if I do, I apologize. I just no, I don't. <laughs> I'm not going to show you all that. So now I'm adding some gesso to this white piece of white cardstock. This is not my favorite gesso. It's the Faber Castell gesso, and it's really really thin. It dries fast, but I feel like it's too wet. Like it, it makes your paper warp more than other gesso does because it's so runny. I don't know if that makes sense. Other, it's other gessos that are thicker. So I just have my little um, watercolor set from Michaels here. It's my favorite. It's like five bucks. It's awesome. And what I've done on the left, you can see that, which is actually the lid to the watercolor set. I've just mixed a bunch of different colors of coral, kind of like in an, ombre I guess if you will and I used the white which doesn't really look white anymore and then a couple of the orangey colors that kind of fleshy color and then some red to give it like a different variation and I'm just painting around where I know that my photo is going to go and I'm using a paper towel to kind of blot up some of that water because I didn't want it to be so thick the paint and I also didn't want it to be super warped and I'm now I'm taking this um, stencil from the color add-on and some um, embossing or texture paste from Ranger, which I love because it's white, white. And just putting a couple of the little kind of viney images at the um, top right and bottom left-hand corner of where my photo cluster is going to go. And then I'm going to add this one little, it's kind of like a little sprig or something um, around there. <clears throat> Please excuse my voice. I have kind of a stuffy throat and everything. Now, I forgot to turn the camera back on as that was drying and what I did was I used a bunch of the scrap papers that I had around and um, layered them on the top and bottom. This is one of those wood chips and I'm just kind of layering some embellishments on top of that. But if you can see the, at the top of the layout there's the golden white foil. That's the washi tape and I tore it um, all like in half basically, sort of in half. It, it got a little away from me. But that's um very missy inspired and now i'm just taking some of the kind of little foliage foliage how do i say it full 
foliage, I can never say that word, um, like little leaves and stuff, acetate pieces from the Cedar Lane ephemera pack and sticking those behind the um, photo clusters. I love these little gold pieces. I guess they're like pieces of vine or something. I don't know. There, there were two sets of them on the sticker sheet. I just think that they're so fun and they add something really cute to the layout. And I'm that arrow did not want to dry, by the way. I, I'm, I think I stuff it up like three or four times, moving it around and everything. And now I'm just looking, I think, for other things to add. I'm looking through this washi tape book. The only thing about that washi tape book is that the gold is not like gold foil. If it had been gold foil, I bet it would have been gone already because it's really cute. It's just, it doesn't really go with the rest of the gold in this kit. So now I'm just adding my title. I love these stickers. They're so fun. I love how skinny they are. And the title is just going to be Fall 2015. I didn't have another L, so I just cut a little piece off the four. And because I knew I probably wouldn't use the four, and I'm just adding that to the end of an I to make, or a one, I can't remember what I used, to make um, the L that I needed. So there's my title. And I think I'm just going to go through and try to find some like little hearts and things to embellish with here and there. That pretty much finishes up the layout. Thanks guys so much for watching, and I will see you all real soon. Bye!